It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Monday, the 13th of May. I'm Michael Groff. The long, hot summer, unfortunately, has arrived here in Phoenix. Temperatures around 100 degrees today, tomorrow, and within spitting distance of the triple digits for most of the forecast period. And sadly, that will also be accompanied by dry conditions. Now, not everywhere across the state will be completely dry. We do anticipate at least some widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across northern Arizona, up along the Rim Country, maybe over in the eastern mountains. But down here in the deserts, just a few passing clouds, as we've seen the last couple of days. That's about the only sensible weather. And, of course, some breezy conditions at times, as is often the case this time of year. All right, let's get into it then. The almanac from yesterday, 95 degrees, the afternoon high, 69, the morning low, 93 and 68 are the averages for this time of year, 109, that record high. And no, we absolutely not, do not want to see that. That's from 1996. All right, checking that upper level weather pattern across the nation right now. High pressure is in control here across the southwest, and that's going to be, for the most part, the dominant feature here. Now, there is some moisture that's seeping into the state, and so as a result, we will see those isolated to widely scattered showers and storms over the higher terrain, but they won't really amount to a whole lot. They'll be mostly high-based convection and that's bad news because that could touch off some wildfires, especially after the rather robust winter and spring we had across uh, northern Arizona in terms of precipitation. Vegetation's really grown, and so wildfire season could be especially bad, as, uh, particularly if the anticipated below-average monsoon season comes to fruition. Of course, we have lots of time to talk about that. All right, the watch warning map, and we don't have a legend for this because the weather.gov uh, version of this that I normally use uh, hasn't updated in a few weeks so I have to pull this elsewhere but let me tell you so up there across the northern plains across Minnesota and Wisconsin those are air quality alerts we've got flood watches extending from parts of Texas to the Gulf Coast under that there's also a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of southeast Mississippi South Alabama and the Florida panhandle uh, including places like Biloxi and Mobile, Alabama, over toward uh, Appalachicola. And around here, things quiet in the southwest. Here's the convective outlook for today. We've got that enhanced risk of severe storms from near Houston, over toward the Sabine Pass, Lake Charles, Beaumont, Port Arthur, Texas. Again, Biloxi, Mobile, Alabama, right there in that uh, zone for some severe weather today. And much of the southeast U.S. actually in the broader severe weather risk, uh, whether it's that marginal standard slight risk or the enhanced risk. And so in those, especially in the uh, slight and enhanced zones, the possibility of strong damaging straight line winds, large hail and isolated tornadoes. Tornado threat, not particularly great, but of course could occur especially in that enhanced risk. Now, here in the southwest, uh, just north of Arizona, the green there through much of the western states, so thunderstorms possible, but we're not anticipating organized severe weather out here. Precipitation outlook, this is valid through Monday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide, mostly under one-tenth of an inch. An isolated spot could, of course, see more than that. And even though we have several days with a chance albeit small, of some showers and storms, again, uh, heavy precipitation or significant precipitation is not expected. We'll get into the whys and wherefores and everything else going on with this weather pattern in more detail. To do that, we explore the models and we have a look. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run, and this is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. But a trough going into the southeast U.S. That's the focus for showers, thunderstorms. Got kind of a front stalled out down there, and so what it means... For us with high pressure across the southwest down at the surface for today yeah we've got sunny sky high temperatures they should top out in the mid 90s to near 100 now a little area of low pressure to the north and west of us and again some moisture drawn into the region but mostly this is high level moisture mid-level moisture this is going to create a few showers and storms primarily north of arizona today across the inner mountain west but an isolated storm can't be completely ruled out in northern Arizona. And again, it won't really amount to much in, for us here in Phoenix. Just some afternoon breeziness. 
And even that won't be significant. High temperatures, yeah, right around the century mark. Now, tonight, we become partly cloudy overnight lows, mid-60s to low 70s. It's going to be pretty warm. Air conditioners are going to be working overtime, as they will be for the next several months. Tomorrow, again, it's more the same. Highs, mid-90s, maybe upper 90s, close to the century mark. And isolated storms in the higher terrain. Same deal Wednesday. Temperatures may trend down a degree or two. But other than that, afternoon breeze, widely scattered storms in northern Arizona. Same deal Thursday. By the time we get to Friday, ridging should build in and become a little bit more established here over the southwest. And so temperatures may start to climb once more uh, back toward around 100 degrees. Could see highs of 97 to 101 on Saturday, 98 to 102 on Sunday. And you could see these little isolated showers and storms over parts of the west. But again, by and large, we just anticipate dry conditions to continue. Some occasional passing high clouds. And that's going to be, other than the afternoon breeziness, the only sensible weather we have here in Phoenix. And again, this is, this is normal May stuff here. April, May, June, they are the three driest months of the year in Phoenix. Here is a week from today. This is Monday the 20th. You can see there's a little shortwave trough coming our way. Again, this far south and with no real moisture around. It's not going to amount to much other than should knock temperatures down at least a few degrees. We will see breezy conditions, maybe windy across northern Arizona. And then as we go out 10 days, this is Wednesday the 22nd. We got troughing over the Pacific Northwest. We've got conditions uh, near normal temperatures, I would say, in that kind of configuration here across the Southwest and near normal precipitation levels, which means basically nothing. Speaking of, looking at rainfall for Phoenix, this goes out through the 24th of the or 27th of the month. This is off the GFS ensemble. You've got 30 members in, in this or 31 members in this ensemble. Six of them try to introduce measurable rain. The ensemble mean is basically zero, though. European ensemble is zero. Nothing. 51 members, not a peep out of any of them. Here's the air quality forecast for the week here in Phoenix. And one thing to note, ozone creeping very close to the unhealthy range, especially tomorrow at 97. Remember, 100, that's when we start to look at that unhealthy level of ozone. So we'll keep an eye on that. But everything else looks pretty good. The PM10, the PM2.5. Uh, nothing to worry about there with that fine particulate matter. Temperatures off the national blend of models. Again, the long hot summer is underway. And highs, while they certainly will be quite warm, these are not record highs for this time of year. Uh, still, they're a little bit above normal. With highs generally mid upper 90s to around 101, 102 each day. Overnight lows, at least in the mid city, primarily in the 70s. 60s for the outlying areas and we all know those are going to continue to trend up as we go deeper into may and june and that is going to do it unfortunately i know i'm sorry don't shoot the messenger i'm just telling you what is likely to happen i am not the creator of the weather i know every every time we get towards summer there's somebody that leaves a comment you know hey mike you're you're a bastard or whatever. And while that may be true, it has nothing to do with me controlling the weather in any way. Believe me, if I had control over the weather every day, uh, the afternoon high would be about 67 degrees, lows in the 40s. And there'd be you know, rain a couple times a week, maybe. Yeah, that's how I like it. Anyway, that's it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos then be sure to subscribe like share click that notification bell leave those comments questions and suggestions if we had a high of 67 and lows in the 40s every day unfortunately this city would have about 45 million people in it and it would be completely unlivable so i guess you know the the heat is the is the one factor that keeps most uh, that keeps the population from being three times what it is here i'm afraid all right i you'll notice that uh, they haven't hired me to work for the Chamber of Commerce. 
The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle, check her out. Check out her videos that are linked up. And of course, like as I mentioned, Sweet Child is linked up down there in the description. Did I forget to put the banner in here for today? I did. And you know, I don't want to re-record this video. So what you're going to do right now, you're going to hear me vamp while I try to find the, the, um, the banner because otherwise, well, you know, I, I went to this trouble to get this banner from Michelle so I could have it up there when I talk about Sweet Child AZ. And I will find it. I'm going to find it right now. It's, it's there. I know it is. Let's see. There it is. See? All right. <laughs> and now I've, I've, uh, I've completed my tasks for the day. All right. If you enjoy these videos and you want to support us monetarily, click that thanks icon below the video. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching all of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there and have yourselves an absolutely unbelievable Monday. I know it's Monday, but you know what? Be positive. Try. Just try it. Try it. I'm Monday, I know.